9 breaking news report. Good afternoon, everyone. We're breaking into programming right now because the North Carolina Air National Guard is just minutes from uptown. Overhead when it flew over the Salisbury VA around 1115 this morning. Check it out here. You can see what's going on on its side right there. It's a cool little tilt there. And then check this out from the side from the ground in Morganton. A jet just flew over Broughton Hospital. People lined up outside, some sitting in trucks with emergency vehicles on hand to watch it out there. People there said this moment just brings them some hope. Anything that brings awareness and helps in honoring people that are on the front lines risking their lives every day. It's uplifting as far as that goes, and I think it's good for the whole community. And that was that inspiration is exactly why we broke into programming here. It's just something to to brighten the moods on this Thursday afternoon. Now take a look here. This is a live look from uh, Chopper 9 where the Air National Guard will be passing through any moment here flying. Uh, it's flying over the Harris Teeter Distribution Center in Indian Trail. Then it's heading to Novant and Atrium Health Hospitals in Charlotte here. So we hopefully will have a couple of glimpses of it coming up pretty soon here. But I tell you, this C-17 transport jet is just massive. Now I want to bring in uh, meteorologist John Aaron, who's in Chopper 9 Sky Zoom right now. And I got to say, John, you have the best assignment of the day watching this from <laughs> above, John. I, I sure do, Devani. It, it's awesome. And to just show your perspective, you know, this plane usually flies 45,000 feet or up up in the atmosphere. This time it's going to be lower. It's going to be about a thousand feet up. Uh, that's where the view of the ceiling. Now we're up higher. So we're up at about uh, about 2000 feet up. So you're going to see it coming down from below us. And another thing to think about too, Damani, this thing usually would travel at speeds of 450, 500 miles an hour. Now it's going to slow down, if mm. you will, to about 200 <laughs> miles an hour yeah, as it makes that path. Yeah, I don't know how slow that is. That's that's pretty fast. You know, <laughs> I, I love airplanes. I love jets and I did some research on this thing. It's basically like you said between 180 and 274,000 pounds and capable of traveling like you said up to 500 miles per hour for thir for 3,200 miles on a single fueling John. This thing is massive. Mass goes across the globe. I mean, uh, this thing also has a wingspan of 179 feet. So what you're going to notice uh, when it makes its approach towards Novon. Now I can see it in my sight. Uh, once it does that, it's going to do a hard bank. And just as uh, you were talking about, Damani, I mean, the weight, the, the span of this plane, you got to think of the talent and the skill that these pilots have to make that hard bank. It's really an incredible sight to see and just something that we need really just to show our support and our solidarity for the people on the front lines. Yeah, on the left side of your screen, you're seeing our Chopper 9 Sky Zoom right there as we slowly wait to see this uh, C-17 jet make its way through here. And on the right side, you're looking at uh, folks outside CMC Main Atrium Health, all the first responders, all the people on the front line fighting this pandemic, uh, just looking to get a view of this massive plane here. And this is for them. This is for those men and women who, who dedicate their lives to helping others, especially now during this pandemic. Uh, this week is National Nurses Week, so the, this is something special for all the nurses and, and quite frankly, all of the first responders that are basically battling uh, this virus. And not just this virus, but you know what? Every single day, I mean, because they were going to work. Take a look here. We're now starting to see it. Let's uh, listen in a little bit and, as this massive plane makes its way in. Yeah, you can see, uh, John, John, give me a little bit of what you're seeing out there. Devani, uh, right now it is just making its approach toward Atrium. It's right over Bojangles Arena right now. And again, it's had to slow down quite a bit as it makes that approach. And it's dropping down. Its ceiling's about 1,000 feet now. It will do when it gets up to the hospital, make that really classic. In fact, you can start to see it getting ready to make its bank. Do you see that? Yeah. Uh, if Incredible you're, if you're driving how it's on, able to do that. If you're driving on Independence Boulevard, you get quite the view right now as it's starting to make its bank. Uh, coming from Matthews now on Independence Boulevard, as you said, John, right across from uh, Bojangle Stadium. And, I mean, just seeing it from these images here, from these pictures from SkyZoom, just remarkable of just what we can do and uh, the technology behind this 
massive aircraft, John. And you know, what, what is this plane uh, normally used for? It's for tactical, strategic airlift missions. It's uh, transporting cargo. A lot of times this is used during hurricane relief. So it's a perfect plane, you know, for the times that we're living in. It brings help and it's uplifting our spirits yeah. right now. Yeah, and just imagine for the folks that are out there uh, just looking, abo looking above and, and seeing this massive plane fly over. And this is for those folks. These are for people who work at the hospitals and for food banks to show support to everyone battling this pandemic. Now take a look. This is uh, from the hospital. This is outside CMC Atrium right now. Let's, let's listen in. How fantastic is that, right? You, you hear just those engines roar. You heard folks on the ground clapping. Uh, a lot of people are shooting their, uh, their cell phone cameras, just getting an image of this, or just that fly over there. And this, again, is for them. This is for all of the first responders out there working in hospitals, uh, working at food banks uh, to, to make, you know, to keep us going here and to keep us healthy and, and to keep us, uh, you know, healthy and safe. And this is for them. And just watching this C-17 just fly over the area is just remarkable, John. Just tremendous view that you have from, uh, from SkyZoom here. And how close it is to the ground, Monty, yeah. is another thing. And now what we're doing right now is we're trying to follow it here on Chopper 9 SkyZoom. We've got our very skilled Chopper 9 pilot, Andy Holt. But he'll tell you, trying to keep up with this thing is extremely difficult as it makes that bank and the speeds that this thing's going on. We're trying to stay on top of it as best as we can, but that, Damani, is no easy task. It's already making its second little bank. It's gonna, looks like it's gonna circle around Charlotte, maybe make another pass and maybe make another bank as it heads towards her. It just came from the distribution center before it moved over to uh, Atrium and Novant, and it does look like it's gonna circle and kind of bend around uptown, but we're trying to keep up with it the best we can. Of course, we have to talk for Josh Sender, who's also looking at it from our camera there. He's following it as well. But it's a tough job. This plane's moving about 200 miles an hour. Let's listen, let's listen in, John, as it passes the uh, Second Harvest Food Bank. Some more great shots there. It just passed the uh, Second Harvest Food Bank uh, just moments ago. Uh, but the, this C-17 has been traveling across the state to thank everyone who has been working on the front lines as we get these just incredible pictures from uh, Chopper 9 Sky Zoom here as it continues to fly over the area here, making its way. Hopefully it does a, a, another turnaround so folks can get another view of this. But this is just a spectacular aircraft. Uh, again, it's capable of traveling, like, like you said, John, 500 miles an hour. It can transport Jeeps, Humvees, tanks, reconfigured to hold 102 paratroopers, I found out, and 144 regular troopers. But on a day like today, it is flying around uh, as a way to say thank you to those who are on the front lines, those working in hospitals, those working in food banks. Let's uh, let's go back to John Aaron's now and about how far you guys are from this uh, from this plane. Yeah, Damani, and of course we're uh, in touch with air traffic control and we're in touch with these uh, pilots as well, so they know where we are. We know where they are. Uh, we're about a thousand feet above where they are, and that's about as close as you can get to get these kind uh, of shots. And again, they're, it's at such a fast speed that it's difficult, but we're in a very safe place and they know about us, we know about them, and of course, uh, the folks up at air traffic control are aware as well. Can you feel the engine? I mean, I mean, that's a massive plane. Can you hear the engine from where you are? I know you have the chopper engine, but can you just feel just how powerful that, that, that plane is? You, you could feel it, I mean, and let's not, thank the Lord, it's such a gorgeous day outside. The air is crystal clear, and of course there's no pollutants because nobody's out on the road anymore. So it's just a beautiful shot of this thing. And yes, you can feel a little bit of that. There's also, of course, the tailwind that'll get you every once in a while, but uh, you couldn't ask for a nicer day mm. to see this magnificent plane. Give us a little bit of perspective, John, on where you guys are in relationship to where the C-17 is right now. We are right now just past, like we're above Cedar Street uptown, so we can see the Bank of America Stadium right here at night's uh, bb and ballpark. So we're seeing it from there. So now it's kind of crossing over and it's over Presbyterian and CPCC. 
pass it through Novon right now. And, and I'm not sure uh, if it's finished. Uh, they're, they're departing right now, Damani. They're, they're, they're taking off. They're taking off. Obviously, they, they've had a very busy day going across the state uh, to thank all of the frontline workers here from hospitals to food banks. And let's hear, let's hear this engine again. Just powerful. You just heard those engines coming from that C-17. Uh, obviously, coming. Uh, they've been traveling across the state here, thanking uh, frontline workers again, from food banks to hospitals, thanking them for all of their hard work, and just a great way to just take your mind off of the daily grind of what people have been experiencing for the last month here, and just a way for the North Carolina Air National Guard to say thank you for everyone on the front lines. Now, we're going to continue to monitor this uh, with Chopper 9 Sky Zoom, and we're going to return you to your regular programming.